everybody, this is Allison from Fanshawe Pioneer Village. This afternoon, we are going to make a pinwheel, or if you are a good pioneer, a whirly gig. So, this whirly gig, very easy to make. All you need is a push pin. I have a couple here, I have them in tape so they're safe. So, I need a push pin, I need a straw or a pencil. I'll give you both directions. I need a square of paper. It can be white. It doesn't have to be. Um, I will put up the templates if you want to print out your template for your whirly gig or your pinwheel below in the comments just after the video. But you really don't need them. It's a very simple uh, craft. So. What you need is a square of paper. I'm going to show you using one with a template for now, just so that everyone can see how it goes. So, what you wanna do is cut diagonally from the corners of your square of paper towards the middle. But you don't wanna go all the way to the center. You wanna leave some space. So see how on this example, there is white space between the lines and the dot in the center? That's what you want to do. You want to make sure that you're keeping a space between the line that you've cut and a dot in the center. So I have my trusty scissors here. You can see I've already cut a couple of them on this one. But you just want to cut part of the way in. See that? I've stopped not quite at the center. We'll do the other one. And I've cut in like this. Just part way, not quite to the center. So all four of them are cut. That gives us kind of like triangles on each part of, side of our paper. What we want to do is take one corner, the same corner on each triangle, and fold it into the center. So take the top corner, I'm going to fold it in and overlap it a little bit to the center. You just want to give it a little push down, not too much. Just a little bit of a push down. Do it again. So let's rotate like it is whirling around our whirly gig. And we're gonna flip this corner down, just like the first one. Push it down a little bit. It's starting to take shape. Keep giving it another whirl around. Push down this corner. Just like that. Oh. Getting even closer, give it another swirl around, and finally the last corner, just like that. So, on all the corners of our whirly gig down in the center. Okay. Now, do it just like that. Now, if you'd like, you can leave your, um, you could leave your pinwheel just plain, which is what I'm going to do with this one, but you can also decorate it. So we'll do another one like that in just a couple minutes. So I have my whirly gig. What I want to do now, and you might need a hand for this part. Maybe you'll need an adult to help you. So you want to take a push pin. I have mine to get out of the plastic tape there. And what you want to do is poke a little hole in each corner that you folded in. Okay. Each one. This just makes it a little bit easier going forward. Poke your holes in each of the corners. Just like that. Okay? Then you're also going to poke a hole in the center of your paper. Just so. So now you have your deconstructed whirly gig. What you want to do is start putting your push pin through successive, which means next, corners of your whirly gig. So we're going to push it down, in, give it a turn, put it down in, here we go, one more, just like that, and push it through the center. Just like that. Okay? And that 
way, all you have to do is put the end of your whirly gig into the eraser on your pencil. This is the very easiest way. Okay. Just nice like that. Okay. And then when you blow, your whirly gig will spin around. Now, what if you wanted your whirly gig to be a little bit fancier? Do a little bit more whirling around there. So let's try again with a little square of paper with our directions on it. But this time I want to color it. So I have some crayons here and we'll put on maybe a sunshine or some polka dots around on our paper. Now the important thing is because you're going to fold, you want to make sure that you're putting it on both sides. So decorate both sides of your paper. Got some red here. Maybe we'll put some swirls on our paper. Both sides. Remember, both sides. It's very important. Maybe we'll put some stars on it. Stars on both sides. Just like that. And we've decorated both sides of what's going to be our whirly gig. You can do any sort of patterns you'd like. You can color each section a different color if you want to. So that looks more like a little bit of a traditional whirly gig. Okay. So what we want to do now is remember, we want to cut diagonally from the corners towards the center, but not go all the way down. So I got my scissors again. We'll start in the corner. Cut up. Don't go all the way in. Let's do the other side. Cut up. Don't go all the way in. Again. Cut up. Don't go all the way in. Finally, the last time. Cut. But don't go all the way in. Okay. So, now we have the same idea as last time, but let's do this all at once now. So, I have my push pin. We're going to fold our corners down in. Give them a nice push. This time we're going to fold them all the way. We'll puff them back out a little bit later. Remember, you want to do all the same corners. So if we're turning around, we're going to fold down the same corner on each side. And you turn your whirly gig as you do it. Just to make sure you're getting the right corner each time. Just like that. Okay. So there we have our whirly gig. This time we are going to poke a hole through all four bits of this, but there is a secret. Before you want to poke your hole through, if you are so lucky to have them, you want a bead. This can be any size bead at all. I just have little tiny tiny ones here. So I have some beads. I'm going to put a bead on the end of my push pin. Just like that. It's a little tiny, tiny. I know it's hard to see. It's not focusing so good, but that's okay. So you want to put your bead on the end of your push pin. Then push your push pin with the bead on it through the center. Be careful of your whirly gig. Just like that. Okay. Then you want to put another bead on the other end. Okay. This time, Say you don't have a pencil with an eraser on it. Say you have a straw instead. I know most people aren't using straws anymore. So you could use a silicone straw if you really want to. I have these ones from a long, long time ago. I'm not throwing them out because I can make crafts like this with them for now. And if you have plasticine or MacTac or Play-Doh, this can be Play-Doh that you've made yourself. Um, it can be some of your salt dough if you have salt dough left over from making pinch pots with the Museum of Ontario Archaeology the other day. And you want to stick your Mac Tack or your Play-Doh or whatever you're using on the end of your straw. It doesn't have to be a bendy straw, this is just happens to be what I have. And then you stick after you've put a bead on the other end. So both sides of your whirly gig have a bead on it on the push pin. You stick the push pin into your plasticine. Okay. 
it's on here nice and good. So then you want to puff up the ends and the whirl bits of your whirly gig. Oop, mine's come undone. That's okay. Stick her back through there like that. Stick my bee back on. They're little tiny bees. They like to bounce around. Stick it in and away you go. Nice whirly gig. Now, think about our whirly gigs. They're really nice decorations, but whirly gigs started not as toys. They started um, a lot of the time in people's minds that they remember as windmills. So windmills would be used to help uh, grind flour. They could be used to power different types of um, farm equipment. We have two windmills here at the Pioneer Village. Now you might notice that there are windmills out in the countryside that they are being used to make electricity. So it's the same idea. Those wind turbines are essentially the same as our whirly gig. So it powered by the wind and as it goes around a belt often a belt if you're a pioneer would drive a generator or drive a belt and gears attached to a piece of farm equipment and you'd be able to make power that way so last time we're going to try this this time there is no ruler guides to help us so let's just make sure that this is kind of a square this is more of a rectangle so do you remember how to make your rectangle into a square from the other day when we made our balls and cups. That's right. You want to fold the corner of your little rectangle of paper down so that the edges meet like this. And you'll have a strip of paper to the side. This is a section you don't need, so we're going to cut it off. Don't fold it down too much because that way it's not making your paper. So this time let's color this a bit. So if we're gonna color it, remember our whirly gigs in four. So let's color the sides in. Remember you want to color both sides. So let's draw lines on all both sides here so that we have an idea about our whirly gig. You want to match up the colors if you can. A red, I have a blue, make sure it's the same side, I have a green, and we'll leave the one side orange, okay? So remember, when we do this, we want to cut in towards the middle, don't cut all the way. This is our practice, because remember, we don't have lines on here. We just drew them on. Cut part way in. Cut part way in. Maybe a little bit more than that. You can readjust how long your cuts are when you need to. Okay. This time we're going to do it again. This time using our pencil, but we're going to put beads on them still. So, I have my push pin. Put a bead on it. Set it aside. I'm going to fold my corners of my windmill inwards or my whirly gig or my pinwheel, however you'd like to call it. And remember the secret. Do you remember what the secret is? You want to make sure you are putting the same corner folded inwards. So you want to turn your whirly gig and keep putting the same corner fold it in. One last corner. Perfect. You want to push your push pin through all of the middle center bits. You're going to put another bead on and you can stick it into the eraser of your pencil just like that. And we have a really big. Now the one thing with construction paper is it is thicker. 
so you need to leave a little bit more space than you would if you were using computer paper. So friends, I would like you to experiment with your Whirly Gig. See what happens when you fold your corners down in a little bit more. See what happens when you leave them open a bit more. Are you able to make your whirly gig go faster or slower? Are you able to blow your whirly gig this direction? So not into the little cups that are formed by, formed by folding them over. Are you able to make it drive something? So maybe you have some uh, other craft equipment at home and you can try and put a belt onto your whirly gig. See if you can make things move. So I hope you have a fun experimenting with your whirly gig today or just enjoy it. Maybe you can make some giant whirly gigs and put them outside and then everybody in your neighborhood can enjoy them. Have a great day.